good morning princess from Port Everglades we have arrived it is well morning eight aboard Wonder Woman of the Seas and it is time to go believe it or not I am packed and ready to go uh, miraculous so as soon as my number is called or as soon as I feel like leaving really uh, I just grab the bag and and head out so my plan I just well I have to wander around for a little bit uh, gangway's not even ready, so the guests waiting to leave can't even go. So, since I'm in no rush, uh, don't want to get in anyone's way. All right. Um, you know what? While I'm here, and I do have my coffee, I'm not going to do a stateroom tour or anything like that, but a couple of things that I found interesting about the stateroom. So, let's uh, take a quick look. Well, the bed does have crabs. Ha ha. Anyway. The, uh, the bed, it does come apart, so I, I suppose if you ask them to split it, they could. However, the seam in the middle is uh, very obvious. So, um, couples, I guess you're really going to have to stay on each side of the bed. I found, however, that uh, this side here is way more comfortable than uh, this side. And uh, it's because, well, this mattress tilts a lot. So... It was very, uh, very strange. First couple of nights, and then I decided to, well, move over and solved a lot of problems. So, <laughs> um, one oddity, there is a stateroom light control here on this side, but not on this side, which meant then when I'm over here, I had to sort of scooch all the way over to turn off the lights. Um, that was a bit uh, weird. Why don't they have one on both sides? I don't know. Anyway. Um, the other lighting control is over here. Now, one thing I liked first couple of days was uh, when you do this control, it, it seemed to turn off everything. Except there is a light <laughs> above the balcony curtains. And uh, I could not find this control for, I don't know, that, well, it wasn't that long. Maybe It felt like a long time because I wanted to go to sleep. It was like three minutes. I looked everywhere. I mean, there's no controls over here. This one is just for the mirror light. Hello, there I am. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, next time. And uh, that one by bathroom is for the bathroom. So, uh, search, 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 search until I finally find hidden behind the curtain, like the wizard, the switch for the curtain lights. Uh, so that was a bit frustrating that that is the only one. But fortunately, uh, all of the other lights are controlled by, you know, the main switch. So I did like that. And the lamps, of course, have individual little switches. And uh, about, oh, about these, sometimes I had to plug the cable in, the USB cable, uh, a couple times. And it worked better when the lamps were off. Hmm. Now, I did not unpack, uh, unpack. I did not, I do, oh boy. <laughs> yeah, just started the coffee. I did not unpack. I just kind of laid everything out on the sofa because um, for the world's largest cruise ship, we definitely do not have the world's most shelf space. Uh, ostensibly, these are like his and her closets, but uh, this is just hanger space. I didn't really feel like hanging everything. And even over here, oh God, I didn't even check. Did I miss something? <laughs> uh, yeah, oh, well, looky there, I did miss something. Uh, <laughs> uh, why, oh, I know, those were backup clothes. Anyway, uh, just these little teeny shelves right here, and uh, that's it. Uh, all the cruises I've been on recently have had more than ample shelf space. So, you know what, I'm going to grab these right now before I forget. Uh, that means my backpack is going to be nice and full. Oh, that must be, I guess, the Wi-Fi? Okay, well, anyway, let's uh, go and... Uh, Put these over here for packing. And uh, there you go. Oh, huh. Okay, whatever. I had plenty of clothes. I did not run out. So well, I'm glad I decided to show you all this. Otherwise, well, I would have left those. All right. Um, one second. Yeah. As for the bathroom, uh, you know what? It, it is fully functional. Uh, plenty of space. The shower is nice and large. Really, in terms of how it's laid out, it's fine. A lot, it felt a lot bigger than MSC uh, Seashore and uh, Scarlet Lady, but one problem is, uh, well, 
this, the faucet is way too close, so water kept splashing over here, and because it's essentially flat, once there was too much, it would drip down onto the floor constantly. So that's why that is there and nowhere else. So that was kind of annoying. One of those like, uh, did they not even try? Anyway, uh, thankfully some shelves in the bathroom. That's one thing that was missing on, which ship was that? Uh, don't, don't remember, but one ship missing towels in the bathroom. I mean, missing shelves in the bathroom. And of course, uh, the admonition right here, uh, not to throw towels, underwear, and hot dogs down the toilet. Uh, rather, uh, specific and odd list, but I don't know. Uh, overall, the uh, bathroom was fine. Oh, and uh, yeah, there you go. You'll notice the lid is uh, propped over. It's because I would uh, dispose of everything over here, and I guess my stateroom attendant, I don't know, maybe he wanted to uh, make it obvious that there was a trash can there or something. However, um, I knew it was there, but I do not touch trash can lids, so yeah, that wasn't going to happen. Uh, and and he only moved it, I think, yesterday. So I ended up not ever using the... Oh, yes, uh, empty bottle of wine. Um, yeah, I did tell you yesterday about, uh, you know, how, how getting wine aboard was pretty easy. Just say, hey, it's my wine, and that's it. All right, well, there is beautiful container port <laughs> at Port Everglades. And, uh, okay, I'm, I'm going to head out and walk around and... Uh, I know, I got uh, maybe an hour or two to kill. And uh, well, there's very few better places to do it. And one more thing. These doors, you gotta either pull them shut or let them slam, otherwise they do that, not closed. So, uh, yeah, make sure your door is closed. Well, at least this one, I had this problem. Woke up one morning and it was like this because I didn't know uh, that it was open, so I slept all night with the door open, and oh my god, what what could have happened to me? Uh, yes, aboard, <laughs> yes, aboard a luxury cruise ship with a bunch of other luxury travelers. Yeah, wasn't really worried, but uh, still, make sure the door actually closes when you intend it to close. All right, let's see if this works. It is almost all the way open, and blam, there you go. That's how it works. All right, the cleanup bags. Look like the Italian flag? Is that a dig? Ooh, cheeky royal. One thing I did not do on this cruise was explore like every nook and cranny of the ship. There are a number of places where I just didn't go because I just didn't feel like it. I mean, the specialty restaurants, sure, but I only went in the music hall for the first time last night. And uh, well, because there was never anything going on in there uh, that I wanted to see, but normally I would have, have gone just during the day to check it out. I only walked in the dining room like one time off service just to uh, see it, but only on one level. So I don't know. Uh, oh, you know, I never went to, uh, you know, top deck just to see where the slides uh, start off. I mean, not that it's that important, but you know, <laughs> um, you're, usually I would have made time to do all of that uh, at some point. So not that I missed experiences here aboard Wonder Woman of the Seas, but uh, I'm just noticing it now that I don't know, the, the different cruise approach um, means I missed some things on the ship. It's okay though. Actually, I'm okay with that. I just noticed it, but it doesn't really bother me. This I find a little bit weird, and it, it caused me to be a bit frantic on embarkation day. That is the parking lot for this terminal. Now, Royal has been sending these Oasis-class ships out of Fort Lauderdale since the beginning. Uh, Oasis of the Seas made her debut here in Fort Lauderdale, and um, yeah, all they have is that surface lot connected to uh, to this terminal. I had to park in the overflow lot, um, which is, is actually, hmm, it is a little bit further. Uh, I had to walk around, walk around there. It's like, on the other side of the ship, or actually it's directly forward of the ship. We'll, we'll go and see if we can see. I, we can't actually, but um, that was a bit frustrating that they never provided more parking here. Okay, I sort of take it back. That over there, uh, right past the Silver Moon, is the overflow lot, and unfortunately, oh, Silver Moon, she is blocking where Miss Liberty is parked, uh, although I'm sure she's there. I just checked, just checked, I just checked. Um, everything's fine, nothing has happened to her over the past week, so we're gonna have a nice, easy drive home. So, uh, the thing is, I mean, it looks really close, but you kinda have to drive, drive, walk around 
uh, you know, the container terminal and uh, from the back to the front of the Royal Terminal, the cruise terminal. So, eh, it's not too bad. There is a parking garage right there behind Silver Moon that I was planning to park in just because it's the garage and uh, if you're there, but I was late, I know, oh boy. But for that, uh, you have to just walk along the street over there, which not a big deal. I would have rather have done that than leave her oh, exposed to the elements. Oh, it's terrible, I feel so bad. I thought I mentioned this before, but I don't think I did. Wonder Woman of the Seas is now the most photographed and video ship ever. Everybody has cameras and phones and they're constantly taking pictures and video. I don't know how much content is up on the various sites uh, for this ship, but it's a lot. Uh, I see people walking around now doing their little walkthroughs and everything. Something that I was just not going to do, that's fine. There's, uh, there's people who do that much better than I would, so go check them out. But here we are. Well, one last look at the Tron Solarium. I mean, who else would call it the Tron Solarium, right? Um, I like it. I really like it with the inflatable tiles and everything. It is cool in here, which I still find a little bit surprising uh, for the Solarium. I thought it would be uh, a little bit warmer, but who knows? Uh, for, I guess, Northern Climate Cruising, which I don't know if she's ever going to do that, I guess this would be warmer than outside. Oh, boy. All right, well gonna go put this coffee cup down because it's uh, empty and then I don't know circle back oh, and continue to say well oh wow right we do get a much better view of the overflow parking lot from uh, the forward part of the Tron Solarium and yes uh, I can see Miss Liberty 2 is right there waiting for me all safe and sound so it'll be just a quick walk over and uh, we will be on our way home uh, they haven't called my my number yet so I still got plenty of time. Well, I mean, not plenty of time, but I'll be here for at least another hour. I said uh, the other day that one thing I noticed is Royal doesn't really have a lot of deck parties that, you know, that move inside or anything like that. Unlike uh, a lot of the other cruise lines, particularly Norwegian. And really, they don't have a space for it because around the pools, uh, it's either pool or it's open down to Central Park. So, yeah, if they did want to have a big party, uh, they don't have space, except they do. This would be awesome for a deck party. Yeah, a solarium party, just get the deck chairs out of the way. That might be a logistical challenge uh, on its own, but I think if they wanted to give it a try for those evening parties, this would be a great, great venue. Especially with these, that have the canopies light up with different colors. I, I did not come here at night, so I don't know if there's a lighting package, but uh, if it is, well, come on, Royal. If this is going to be the Tron Solarium, yeah, the, the tiles have to light up different colors. So there you go. Another totally, totally free idea on me. And I missed room service again. I was going to do breakfast. I wanted to do breakfast. That was my goal. And I had considered dinner, but... Uh, uh, okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Anyway, well, they want us out of... The state rooms by eight o'clock and it is well 7 49 so i'm actually leaving 11 minutes early can you believe it all right well i'm off to the wind jammer so here we go oh last departure oh so sad well goodbye fair stateroom uh six 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 two you have treated me well goodbye all right i am uh off to the wind jammer it looks like the lines have subsided and I guess people are just streaming out by number. I heard him say, oh, we're only doing this tag, so maybe they're actually enforcing it? I've never seen that before. So I maybe will wait close to my time and then go, but uh, weird. Um, well, it's uh, something new, I guess. Something new I don't like. Oh, well. Oh, well, you know what? There was a survey I didn't do. If I had told them I was doing self-checkout, maybe I would have gotten a lower number. That was my problem. You do it in the app, and I didn't do it. Ugh, ding dang. Yes, a bit repetitive, but it was good. Eggs Benedict with bacon, but uh, that on the top is upma. I uh, don't really know exactly what it is. It looks kind of like um, like polenta or grits. Name suggests it's Indian, so 
let's give it a try. Wow, that was all really good. Um, the, well, the, the new thing, I don't remember what it's called anymore. Uh, that was really good. Basically, Indian grits and loved it. It has some kick to it, so be warned, but uh, that's definitely uh, going to be on the menu next time. There is um, a, another, uh, it looks Indian dish over there. I do want to try, so I'm going to go grab some of that. And uh, it's been out every day, so it's not something special, but I will remember what it is. It's, um, let me go look. These are masala, or maybe masala, oats. Uh, it is a hot dish, and they've had it on the buffet every morning. I'm just getting to it now. All right, and of course, a, a cinnamon roll. Not the sticky bun, but a cinnamon roll. Close enough, hopefully, but maybe not. Alrighty then, my number is up, so I'm just gonna walk. The elevators are super, super crowded, and uh, off the ship, they are asking for uh, both CPAS card and passport in hand. They've uh, never, well, I don't recall ever being asked specifically to have your passport in hand, so I gotta, well, I don't have to dig it out, but. All right, Carnival does a facial recognition thing. I wonder how they do it. All right, it's, it's that time. The gangway is here, the sad gangway. And we are back on, well, I guess dry land. I don't know if it's rained or not, but. <sighs> All right, now it's time to make the long walk. Long walk, long walk. Now, this should go rather quickly. It always does. And there she is. All right, grab and go. And we are out. Yeah, super easy uh, facial recognition. You just stop in front of the little, well, not really a robot, but uh, in front of the scanner, it uh, recognizes you, and that's it. So. I guess have your passport ready, but did not need to have it in hand. Okay, well, now it's just a, a short walk over to the, oh, wait a minute, wait, where are we? Uh, short walk back to the parking lot, and well, I guess, well, it's over. So no sense in, uh, in drawing it out. What a perfect view from the parking lot. Goodbye, fair wonder of the seas. I do not know when we will meet again, but you have treated me very, very well. And I thank you and your entire crew for a wonderful, wonderful time. But that's it. I am uh, comfortably ensconced in Miss Liberty 2 on my way home. So it's uh, time to say goodbye for this round. But we will be on the seas again. And yes, yes, we will be back in the parks again when... Uh, well, no, not when the timing is right. When I make the timing right. I got to keep remembering that because... Yes, you, you make your own destiny most of the time. So, well, uh, we're in Fort Lauderdale, so it's not uh, as brief a drive as I want, and unfortunately, it is also traffic time. What a way to cap off this uh, wonderful trip with rush hour. But, you know what? It's totally fine because, uh, oh yeah, I am thankful for my problems.